Hi everybody, it's Carol from Crinkled Path Journals. Do you remember when I bought this? Well, let's see what happened. <laughs> some clips at the end kind of showing my process but I thought I'd start with the end in mind <laughs> and this is the results of my taking apart a chindi rug from five below they are made with fabric scraps from India and it says right on the rug that it's cotton and poly and not silk <laughs> but they are very reminiscent of sari silks maybe not as much bling but i did get some bling and so i thought i would show you a few of the things that i got and then show you my end result bag and then i'll go to some quick clips of me on vacation pulling the rug apart it was a very relaxing activity for me uh, it might not be for everybody, <laughs> uh, but it wasn't terribly hard to do. It also wasn't super easy. You had to keep at it. And I just worked on it little bits at a time when we were sitting by the lake. And that was very enjoyable for me. And I think what I got out of it, I don't want to over romanticize it. It's not like these are high quality uh, perfectly cut pieces they are remnants and they are a lot of them torn or stained and some of them have handwriting on them from the manufacturer and some of them are like this where it's two bolts sewn together but I actually kind of find that unique and interesting so I like that but here's just a kind of a smattering of some of the pieces that I got Lots of satiny, silky, some patterns, lots of beautiful solids that were really rich in color. There's a little bit of bling on some of them and some patterns. I have some brighter jewel tones here and you can see the little rhinestones on this one. And this is another one that's sewn together, but just really pretty colors. And when you get a rug to cut apart, you can kind of look at it and see the variety of colors that it has or doesn't have here. And I did kind of show a few in the videos as I was pulling it apart. Now, just to warn you, I'm sure others who have pulled them apart have similar warnings on their videos. <laughs> this is lovely, but let me show you how much I actually got and I'm not sure it will fit under the camera it is an entire tall kitchen garbage sack full <laughs> so I won't need any fabric sample scrappy things for a while and I'm sure I will be happy to share if you need a particular color of scrappy fabric. As I said in my Thrifty Thursday when I bought the rug, I really looked at this. See, here's some of the writing. And usually it, it's um, written in some kind of code, you know, for whatever the bolts of fabric. And I lost a pair of scissors when I was doing this, so I keep hoping it's in here somewhere. But I pulled them all out and put them back in again and it didn't fall out. But anyway, I was saying, uh, I mentioned in my video when I bought the rug that I was kind of approaching it as a grab bag, you know, $5 of fun, <laughs> see what you get. And it really, for $5, it was very enjoyable. And I think my son-in-law's parents think I'm crazy, but that's okay. 
I, I'm a little crazy. All junk journalers are. And, <laughs> oh, sorry. If you're a junk journaler and you didn't know you're a little crazy, uh, uh, I hate to break it to you, but but you are. Uh, this one looks like it's got some dye on it. But the thing I love about the junk journaling community is even though we're a little crazy, we love each other just the way we are <laughs> and we understand each other. And it's the, it's the most fun about this craft and community here on YouTube. If, if you're a junk journal lover at heart and you love to use or reuse things, you're in good company here and you will be embraced right where you're at. So I want to thank you for watching the rest of the video before it starts. This is Lacey. Uh, and it they're just some short clips of me disassembling it. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Hang on and watch those last clips. Thanks. Bye.